Hey guys, welcome to another scratch tutorial. In this episode, I'll be showing you how to make Pong. So first off, I'll show you what you need. So you're going to need two paddles, which can be found in the sprite menu, um, as well as a ball, which can also be found there. And two solid black blocks, which um, should just be able to go from the top to bottom. Um, so that can be done just by selecting this, going here, making it fully, and then just dragging a box. But I'll, I've already done that, so I've got two here. Um, and then you're also going to need the variables player 1 score, player 2 score, and speed. Um, so first off, we're going to set these two big black blocks. So, you'll put, um, so you're going to want to name one of them um, player 2 wins and player 1 wins. So that's if the ball hits the side. So player 2 will be over near where player 1 is because if it gets past player 1, then player 2 wins. So we'll drag them over here um, and we'll move the paddles into position. So you're going to want to rotate the paddles so they're like this. So paddle 1, or just paddle, I don't know, paddle 1, is on the left and paddle right, paddle 2 is on the right. So I'll just put these here, go the black ones. Um, and um, when you're playing the game, you don't want to see the big things in the background, so we'll make them blend in with the background, so we'll make them white. And just fill that in. So now you can't see them, but um, they're there. So now we're going to want to make the paddles move. So with paddle one, so we'll do when flag clicked, forever, if uh, key. Now, because um, it's the one on the left, we'll use W and S. So if key W pressed, then change y by 10 um, and we'll just duplicate that and I'll change this to s and I'll make this negative 10 because I want it to go down so if I try that then there you go that works um, now you can speed up or slow them down so if you make this go 5 or something make this negative 5 it'll move slower, but I, I find 10's a pretty good number. Ten, and then we'll just drag this over into here, so we put another one in here, um, and we'll just make this the up arrow and the down arrow. So now I should be able to move the right one and the left one. Cool. So now we're going to make the ball move. So um, if the ball hits the edge, we want it to bounce, so we do when flag clicked, forever, um, if on edge, bounce. Um, next one, um, we'll want it to move when it's in the thing, so when flag clicked, forever, uh, motion, um, move, and we'll go here and we'll grab the speed move speed steps so um, later on I'll be showing you how to um, change the speed throughout make it faster um, and we'll also want to show the scores so I'll just drag this one over here um, so the scores are there but we won't show the speed because they don't need to know that that's not important and next we'll do we want the speed to increase slowly throughout the game so when flag clicked forever um, where was it here we go, um, change speed by 0 0.1, so it slowly increases, um, but um, we, we don't want it to, we want it to slowly increase and change, so we'll make it wait, um, and we'll get a divide here, so we'll chuck speed in here. And if we put speed divided by 20, um, as speed increases, the amount that it increases by will decrease. Um, just so it doesn't get super fast, really fast. Um, next, at the start of the game, because if the ball's over here at the end of the previous one, we want it to move to the center. So motion, go to, and we'll get it right in the center. So zero, zero. So that should move it into the center. Um, 
Also, we want to set the scores to zero at the start. So we'll set. Oh, and we'll also set speed to five. Um, but like I said, if you want the speed to be faster or slower, you can you know make it faster or make it a bit slower. But I'll leave it at five. Um, and we'll set player two score to zero as well. Um, and also, if you want the speed to increase faster, you can change this to 0 0.2, or if you want it to go slower, you can decrease that. Um, next, you want to um, make it point in the direction, so we'll get a forever. Um, so when it goes in the center, you want it to point in the direction. Point in direction 90. Um, oh, we won't put it forever there, sorry. Um, so it'll point in direction 90, um, and we'll make it wait just a little bit. Um, just to give everybody a chance to get ready for the game. Um, go to center, point in direction wait. Um, next we want, if it's touching the paddle, um, we want it to bounce off, so we'll go here, when flag clicked, forever, if touching, um, now we're just going to want to grab an or statement, um, so if touching paddle, paddle 1, or paddle 2, then we want it to turn around, so we'll want its direction, point in direction. Um, so if we want it to turn around, we'll get its current direction, and then we'll make that a negative by times it by negative one, which will, if it's going, uh, let's say 90 degrees, then it'll change to negative 90, so it'll start heading back this way. So we can drag that in there, um, put in direction. Except we don't want it to go straight back and forth, side to side. So we want to add um, turn. Um, and we'll make it random. And we'll just make that negative 10 to 10. Or if you want to make it um, turn even more. So that'll make it just turn a little bit each time. But if you want to make it turn even more, you can get up to 15 or 20. If it goes too high, then it might be a little bit too wild. But... That's all right. Um, and we want it to wait just a little bit. Um, so that if it touches the paddle, it's not going to keep um, glitching on the paddle. So we'll just give it a little bit to get away from the paddle first. So now we want to make it so that if it touches the sprite 1 or 2, it changes the score. So we'll put it forever. If touching player one wins then so if it touches player one wins then we change player one's score so player one's by one and we'll duplicate that put it in here player two wins then player two score increases by one um, but if it touches the edge it's just going to stop there so what we got to do is we got to make it go back to the center so we'll go go to, or actually we'll make it glide, um, just to give them, so we'll give them three seconds, and we'll make it go to zero, zero, so if it touches swipe one or two, it'll change the score and it'll go back to the center, and we'll also give them a little bit to get ready for the next round. So now we should be ready to test it, um, we just have to press the green flag and let's go so uh, what you can see is it's it's not hitting the paddle straight away that's because I put the the weight in the wrong spot um, so that should there we go yep yeah, yeah I thought that was it was a bit amiari whether the weight was in the right spot so now it, yeah it bounces off the edge um, and it should slowly get a bit faster yep so that's good um, actually I'll test when it hits the edge so yeah, if it hits the edge, um, so it's not slowing down, so we're going to have to set speed 
in here. So I'll put on oops. Set speed to five again. Set speed five. Oh no, it's on the side of the weight. Um we don't actually need the weights because they we've got the glides here. So now it should instead of just going the speed that it's at, it should float back to the center so you get a chance to get back and make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. And comment if you want anything done or if anything wrong happened in this video. See you guys next time.